Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work around here. Uh, got uh, some more iron and all that stuff. Uh, let's clean out the miners. They all have to be moved. They're all depleted again, which isn't that big of a deal because they fly, which is good. But uh, I wanted to do something today because uh, one of the things I am going to start needing a lot of is cobalt. Because we're going to need a lot of those, those. We're going to need a lot of those, and I don't have a lot of that. So cobalt is going to be an issue. Uh, eventually titanium will be too. So what I want to do is I actually want to move a couple of these miners to, you know, some more profitable ground. Uh, but one of the th things I was trying to figure out is how I was going to get back. Uh, you know, I could, I could hop in one of these and fly it out to where I want to go mine, drop it down, but then what? And then I have to build another craft and fly all the way back. So I started thinking, well, I made this thing here. So let's see if we can actually utilize it. Now, someone had suggested, uh, I'm sorry if I, I don't remember who it was as it suggested this. Oh, let's uh, turn it on first. That for the, uh, for the claws themselves, that what I should be doing instead of saying they keep binding to rotation, or start rotation, that it should just be rotate I should be using this one here. So we'll do end. Oh, no, we'll do end. Home. Oh, got to click it. That's right. You can clear those. Okay, and then now I'm going to do the rest of those just quickly here. And then what I want to do is I've been thinking about how I could create some sort of. Uh, something we can grab onto, like a handle for the, the miners. And I think I can do it with... Uh, probably... We could probably get away with six inner, six short inner walls. Okay, so what I'm doing here, and this, this is just going to stop them from moving freely. Uh, I was... sort of just basically wanted to hit a button and go away and not have to worry about it, but let's give this a shot. We'll lift her up. Okay, one's stuck, apparently. Let's hop out and have a look. Oh. So what is going on here? What's going on with you? No, oh, you are actually stuck. Alright, well, let's... Uh, I guess we're going to have to take, take it apart. Well, I got to do this off camera, so I shall be right back. Okay, I got it all fixed. I don't know what happened, but it's working now. So let's turn Build Vision off. Uh, for some reason, it wants to spin on its own. Or at least it was. I think it might have something to do with that sticky rotor. But anyways, uh, let us go over and pick up C and F, because they're both depleted. They didn't really have the best of deposits. They were just like on the, the one, percent, one percenters. Now this one here was actually run out of power. Uh, oh yeah, I had strafing on this thing, didn't I? Uh, what was I using for strafing? Oh yeah, arrows. That's right. I should really unify my key bindings, make sure I'm using the same one for everything. So how is this doing? Is this actually got a charge? It does. Okay. So. Yeah, that's what I mean about this thing spinning. I'll just land it quickly. Uh, turn build vision off. Let's uh, go over here and we'll just drop her down. Oh, hold on. What did I do? I tried to be a show off. I tried to be smart. I tried to show off and uh, land from the third first person. Unfortunately, you can't look down. Alright, so anyways, what I was thinking was, let's go ahead and get our handy dandy jack tool, I call it. Now, since I know I have the capacity to actually lift heavy things, I'm not too worried about the weight on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one on either side, as soon as I get over there. Uh, one there, and we'll put one, oh, well, that one's too high, we'll take that out. Uh, place it down again. 
There we go. And then I'm going to put one more on top. And that's just because of the cock that's in the way. I'm not even going to bother filling it in. And then from here, change our axis. Uh, hmm. Actually, let's do it this way. See if we can get this snap right on top. Okay, like so. And I'll put the other one on the end. Oh, fireflies are up today. That's fine. And just like so. So now, in theory, I should be able to actually pick that up. Let's find it. Okay, we'll strafe over. And just see how this thing actually works. Except for the fact that I'm all over the place with it. I don't know how to fly. I'm a builder, god damn it. Alright. And. Oh, this is going to be kind of an awkward one to grab, but let's see how it works. No, nope, not quite. Back up. No, no, no. Ah. Missed. <laughs> well, let's see if we can actually pick it up. challenge here. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. I gotta get, try to get used to my own controls. Okay, let's open those claws up. Now, in theory, I should actually be able to pick this up. If I get that one claw over the top and then drop down. Close her up. And off we go. That works for me. <laughs> Alright, so which way are we going? We are going to go with... Let's see. I need cobalt, so we got to head north. Let's see, here's north. This is north. Oh, I can feel that weight. So there we go. This is what, exactly why I built something like this. Well, just to be moving containers around, but this definitely works. And the best thing is, is I have the deuterium in this. So, you know, if I could jump, if I need to jump start the miner, I can. I do believe. Yes, I have enough to make a stasis chamber on me. I was actually going to build one on top of this thing. But anyways, it's going to be a little bit of a flight for me, so I'll meet you when I get there or when something goes horribly wrong. Okay, so here we are. I've actually been uh, sort of hiding out up here because it's been, as you can see, it's quite cold. It's actually warmed up a little bit. Uh, I didn't put a thermal regulator on here, but this should be our cobalt area right here. I just gotta find a place, something that's not anywhere near a nest or anything that may want to, you know, give me a hard time. I'm just gonna find a place of flat to put this to because it's a little top heavy because of my uh, cradle, which we will be taking off. Uh, this actually looks like a good spot. There's a cobalt crystal right there. And this is terrible ground. Very uneven. Now I could just open up the claws and let her drop, but seeing as how I got suspension on the thing, it's probably gonna go flying. Let's actually move it back here. Well, ah, this should be okay. They're not gonna give me any problems. Okay, and we'll just drop her down. And let's see, what was what did I have for open? I saw that happening. That's fine. Because it does actually have juice, so we can fix it. 
Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where to go? There it is. Okay, I'll we'll take get rid of that and that that. There was just a little top heavy. That's all. Yeah. Oh, gotta give it some power first. Now we can go ahead and write this thing up. Should be able to write it. Is it stuck? Oh, there we go. I think it's just because of the altitude change. Alright, uh, let us see what we have here. Oh, yeah, you don't have enough power for that. I think I'll take it. So, take those out. We'll keep the silver, cobalt, aluminum. Don't really need the uranium. And, yeah, the carbon. Well, that was silicon. Carbon was over there. All right. So that is that one. Now what I'm going to do is I actually want to see if I have enough to build a thermal regulator and a stasis chamber. So I'm going to camp out here for a few minutes and try to get some cobalt to bring home. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to move the miner again too. Stasis chamber, yes. Alright, let's uh, see if we can get this on here somewhere. Uh, this looks like, looks like a good spot. Sure. Oh, what do you know? I actually have the parts on me. And the stasis chamber, we'll put it in the front here somewhere. That's not a stasis chamber. That is. Hmm. Perfect. Nice and cozy. Okay, now where's that switchboard? There it is. Alright, connect you to that and that, and uh, we are good to go. Look at that, nice and warm outside. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, let me camp out here a little bit, and I shall bring you back when we're ready to head back. Okay, I'm back. I was trying to find a, a actual good deposit, but I haven't found too much. So I've got it sitting up uh, over there somewhere. It's got about 36 an hour or something like that. So I just decided to find a hole and dig myself down. And I got myself about a stack of cobalt on me. It's something for now, so it's better than nothing. But anyways, uh, now it's time to head off. And I've uh, reconfigured my switchboards here. I've got the power going through the front switchboard, which powers the... the stasis chamber and uh, the thermal generator and then this switchboard actually turns on all the air blades all right with that being said it is time to head back home which is an astounding five kilometers away six kilometers away and then we're going to go and pick up another miner and we're going to probably head down south with it so yeah i shall see you when i get there okay i'm back and what do you know? We're out of iron again. Always the case. Always out of iron. Okay. So now we're going to go and pick up number F there. Bring those up. And let us head up. Oh, actually, it was F that we took. We'll take C then. As soon as I get over there. And... Now, this is funny, when I loaded up, first loaded up the save, I came out here, I saw the beacon, but I didn't see the miner, so I, I thought maybe it clip, clipped into the ground. So I turned build vision on, and it was there, but it wasn't, and I was actually walking right through it. Like, I could not actually see the model, but I could see the build vision and all that stuff. All right, you do not have power, do I turn you off? Yes, I did. All right, so I'm going to check reposition these posts a little bit more a little better actually 
uh, because I was having trouble grabbing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, put it on either side. Come on, right there. But this time I'm going to go on the outside. And I guess this doesn't have to be as high up, but it's still going to be top heavy. You can already see the center mass climbing as I do this. Okay, and let's try this even. Is that even? Yes, it is. I think so, yeah. Okay. And then it's just a matter of doing one of these, because now I'm going to be grabbing all on the inside, so I don't have to really worry about it too much. One there, and come on, one there. Alright, that is it. Now we go grab our crane. And hop in here, build vision off. Strafe over, since it's just so much easier now. I don't know why, but I was having a whole terrible time with this thing spinning on the way back. And then, uh, for some reason, when I adjust the claws, the spinning stopped. Look at that, it's almost like I've done this before. And I think we'll take it from there. Hope I got it. I do. And presto. Actually, I am going to lose that. I'm going to grab it on the other side there. So this one we're going to take down south. It's going to be a little bit of a flight down there. I'll try to get rid of that. I'll not get rid of it, but there we go. Perfect. Like a professional. Okay, so this one is going to be a little ways away because we got to get down to about here, I think. Uh, I don't really need the Xanite. I'm getting titanium up there. I don't think I really have a need for gold. Let me just think about this for a second. Okay, so I thought about it. And I think this one's going to go up north, too. Don't really need a whole lot of xanite. If anything, I need cobalt and titanium, which I can get up there. And silver, which we can get up there as well. So I th what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this off camera. Because it's kind of boring. This is just really, you know, trying to get preparations for the... Oh. Well, there goes another tree. But, uh, yeah, prepar preparations for the big live stream this weekend. I know I was supposed to do it last weekend, but things just didn't work out. Uh, this happened to be one of those things, was resourcing. That's why I've got plates and frames and mechanical parts and everything printing. And uh, now i got to go get cobalt because, of course, we're going to need hover pads. Lots of them. So that's what I need the cobalt for. So I figure if I get two of these up there, I can bounce them around within a couple of kilometer area and you know at least have some sort of supply of cobalt going. Uh, the iron and carbon and silicon obviously we can get from around the base, so that's not an issue. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will be uploading an announcement, like a live, sc live stream notification, probably Friday, Friday evening. Uh, and I, we're probably gonna start around 10 a.m. Definitely going to be doing it this time. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I know you, and those of who, those who have been to the live stream are aware of that, or have been to the previous live streams of the pinball table. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how things are going to be now with the new Unity and the powered blocks and the fact that it's going to be all nice and colorful now because we have colored blocks. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll yeah, uh, I'm sorry. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, for, so we've got the big live stream going to be happening. Uh, it's going to be Sunday, October 13th. 
starting at 10 a.m. Uh, like I said, I will be posting a notification about it. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a lot of work. I get a get a couple of containers filled, plates and frames, and all sorts of goodness. And I get a big ship ready to go, and we're going to fly off somewhere, find a nice big, nice place to build a pinball table, and we'll go from there. But anyways, uh, I got a bit of a flight ahead of me. I'm gonna get, drop this off. I'll try to get some more cobalt. I might even, I might even try to drop it off at the other one there, just for the sake of it. So at least they're close to each other. Am I facing the right way? Yes, I am. And with that, I thank you all for watching. I admit it wasn't an exciting episode, but hey, at least I made a use of one of these crazy builds I had. Must have been crazy, but. You know what I mean. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. If I don't see you on Sunday first. Later.